And as we begin our Mass, our funeral Mass for Maria, this little procession has gathered and to the altar, uh, Zena and Rory will bring a photo and some personal items. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Of all the commandments, the commandment to love is the most important. Maria, whose funeral mass we are celebrating, showed us how this commandment can be lived. In our sorrow, let us draw near to the God who always loves us. Lord, you are slow to anger and rich in mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You do not treat us according to our faults. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. As far as the east is from the west, so far do you remove our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Maria, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now we'll be seated and we'll listen to the Word of God proclaimed for us in the readings by Rhea and Nina. A reading from the Book of Lamentations. My soul is shut out from peace. I have forgotten happiness. And now I say, my strength is gone, that hope which came from the Lord. Brooding on my anguish and affliction is gall and wormwood. My spirit ponders and it continually sinks within me. This is what I should tell my heart and so recover hope. The favours of the Lord are not all past. His kindnesses are not exhausted. 
Every morning they are renewed. Great is his faithfulness. My portion and cup is the Lord, says my soul, and so I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who trust him, to the soul that searches for him. It is good to wait in silence for the Lord to save. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. John. Think of all the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children. And that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God. But what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him because we shall see him as he really is. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, escorted by all the angels, then he will take a seat on his throne of glory. All the nations will be assembled before him, 
and he will separate men one from another as the shepherd separates sheep from goats. He will place the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you whom my father has blessed, take for your heritage the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you made me welcome. Naked, and you clothed me. Sick, and you visited me. In prison, and you came to see me. Then the virtuous will say to him in reply, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and make you welcome, naked and clothe you, sick or in prison, and go to see you? And the king will answer, I tell you solemnly, insofar as you did this, to one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did it to me. The Gospel of the Lord. Now you may be seated for a moment or two. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Without love, the world would be a very bleak place. So, we shouldn't be surprised to find that love occupies the central place in the gospel. Christ said that his followers would be recognized by the love they showed one another. He went even further. He said they would be judged on love. St. John of the Cross was only echoing the words of Christ when he said, In the evening of life, <coughs> we will be examined on love. To those who are sensitive to the needs of others, life offers innumerable opportunities to practice the commandment of love. It's not a question of grand gestures, nor it is a question of extravagant giving. No, it's a matter of giving one of oneself in little ways, giving of one's time, energy, and love. Imaginary love yearns for an immediate heroic act that is achieved quickly and seen by everybody. But real love requires hard work and patience, and often goes unseen, unnoticed, and unrecognized. It's not a one-off thing. It's a way of life. Maria couldn't do enough for her family. She loved them all dearly. She always saw the good in people, always ready to forgive. She respected everyone's privacy as she protected her own. Maria had a great sense of humor and fun about her. She could see the funny side even in the worst situation. She had an infectious laugh, and when she laughed, so did all around her. And as you can see here in front of me, personal items is a euphemism nowadays for a packet of fags and a lucasade even. Uh, Maria was fond of a smoke and a drink of lucasade as she watched her favorite TV programs which were mostly true crime dramas. <laughs> but she also liked sitcom, Benny Dorn being her favorite. 
Maria was a good storyteller, could reminisce on past events in a kind and interesting way. As Stevie put it yesterday, Maria was beautiful. She was the best wife, mother, and grandmother. And her passing will leave a huge void in all their lives. Maria has shown us how love can be practiced in ordinary, everyday ways. Her deepest satisfaction in life was by devoting herself to the welfare of others. To close one's heart is to begin to die. To open one's heart is to begin to live. And so Maria begins to live her new life with God in heaven. I extend my sympathy and that of Father Sheehan to Stevie, to Orla and Stevie, to Joseph and Zena, her grandchildren, Rhea, Rory, Lucy and Kai, her dear mother, Gertie, who's glad to see her here this morning, and her brothers and sisters, Danny, Joe, Nancy, Tommy, Joni, Carmel and Francis, her nieces and nephews, and all her family and friends. And may she rest in peace. Now we will be led in prayer by Sarah, Emer, Trudy, Thomas, Ellen, and Gavin. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ his Son from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, both living and dead. In baptism, Maria received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. Lord, Christ, hear us. <coughs> Our sister Maria was nursed at the table of the Saviour. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. Lord, Christ, hear us. Many friends and members of our family have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, hear us. Lord, Christ, hear us. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest and peace to all those faith is known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, Christ, hear us. The family and friends of Maria seek comfort and consolation, heal their pain, and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, Christ, hear us. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister Maria. Strengthen our hope so that we may live on the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, hear us. Lord, Let us pray. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. And we ask this through Christ our Lord.
Hey, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Maria, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your Son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said, the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, our venerable spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Eamon, our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Michael, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Maria, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters, too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now we stand, and at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the distribution of Holy Communion, I will distribute to those on my right hand middle eye. Minister of the Eucharist will take care of those in the left hand middle eye, and Francis will take care of the side aisles beginning with the Stations of the Cross side.
<coughs> excuse me, Lindsay has a, a communion reflection for us now. Miss me, but let me go. When I come to the end of the road and the sun has set for me, I want no rights in a gloom-filled room. Why cry for a soul set free? Miss me a little, but not for long. I'm not with your head bowed low. Remember the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this is a journey we all must take and each must go alone. It's all a part of the master's plan, a step on the road to home. When you're lonely and sick of heart, go to the friends we know, and bury your sorrows in doing good deeds. Miss me, but let me go. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Maria may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Before the final commendation, I would like to thank all who have been with Maria on her final journey and who cared for her, and also for those who have helped the family uh, through the week. Um, it was so busy there, there was hardly room to get in, hardly room to get out. Uh, but to all who called there, I'd like to thank on behalf of the family and indeed for all within the family who had to welcome them. I'd like to thank our Minister for the Eucharist and of course Francis here this morning. And finally, I'd like to thank all who read for us this morning our us in prayer. And thanks very much to Anya and Sarah for the beautiful musical accompaniment. And before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of Maria. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself.
just thinking as I reverenced the Paschal candle there, please God, we pray that uh, Maria's funeral will be the last when we use this Paschal candle because on Holy Saturday night we will bless a new one. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. <coughs> In your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Maria. In the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Maria in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and with our sister forever. Amen. In peace, let us take Maria to her place of rest. Amen. 